happy. I want to give you a clue this afternoon. I want to give you a clue that will help you. Always remember hurting people like to hurt people. Yeah. Hurting people like to hurt you. That's why she walked up to you and said, Oh, girl, look at you, honey. Oh, you done got so fat. And, oh, what you been eating? And, oh, girl, you don't look. What's wrong with you? You know why she talking crazy? Because she hurting. And she upset with you. She upset with you because you happy. Yeah, I gained 20 pounds and I feel good about it. And ain't nothing wrong with it. And don't you like it? Hurting people like to hurt people. None of us in here ought to hurt one another. You ought to be careful what you say to people. If you don't like what I got on, keep it to yourself, because that's why I put it on, because I like it. And I had a mirror when I put it on. Hurting people. We got so many hurting people in church. Sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, shouting and dancing, just waiting to get through the door that you can hurt somebody's feelings. There's nothing wrong with saying something humorous or something that makes somebody feel good. There's nothing wrong with it. And that's what we ought to be doing. They kick us to the curb on the job. We get home and we got all kind of hell. Then we get out here, you acting hellish and crazy. And about you. Oh, come on, church. I don't care what you think, and I know what God is. Ah, he said, you know what I'm thinking? It's my good pleasure. It's a pleasure to bless you. It's a pleasure to, to make you happy. It's your, my father's good pleasure to give you. God wants you to be happy. I don't know who taught y'all that in tradition that when you get saved, you're supposed to be mad, sad, and super ugly. I don't know who taught you all that foolishness, but that don't have nothing to do with God. Because when you look at heaven, heaven is paved with gold. The streets is gold. The gates is sapphire and rubies and diamonds. I don't need to come out here to prove to nobody looking like a, a mama, a, a, you know, a Granny Annie and a mama, Mama Susie, to, to make you think I'm saved. Trying to prove to you I'm saved. I'm living saved. I'm living holy. Hallelujah! And God is thinking about me. He's thinking about me. He loves me. He cares about me. And if a whole lot of y'all just walk around the house and say, God's in love with me. God's crazy about me. God got all kind of blessings for me. Who is about to happen? Don't you know you bring joy to your soul, joy to your spirit. He's thinking about you. He care about you. He really care about you. He knows what's going on in your life. He knows what the devil is trying to do against you. So, so Jeremiah said, let me tell you captives uh, that's down here in Babylon that God is not thinking evil. Uh, it isn't God's pleasure to make you ill. Satan comes in and put disease and sicknesses upon us, uh, but we have power. Ah, help me, Holy Ghost. 